Hey, welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about all the Doc Martens collaborations for 2023. Was 2023 a good year for Doc Martens? Yes, no, maybe so. For me, I do think it was an okay year. I don't know. For some reason, some of the things that Doc Martens are putting out, it's like, it's okay. Will I get it? Maybe not. But what do you think? Has 2023 been a good year for Docs? Has there been like a pair of Docs that you actually wanted? Like, does anybody get a pair of the collaboration Doc Martens? Like, I rarely see them. Like, who is the customer base for collab Doc Martens? Usually people just get the normal ones. But today, I am definitely going to be ranking each and every one of the collaboration Doc Martens that they put out this year. So, as normal, the tier list is going to be very simple. S tier, God tier, Golden tier, you know, the ones that I must get if I can. And then after that, A, B, C, D, all the way to F, I believe. But anyways, A is okay, and the lower it goes, the bad it gets. So that simple. Let's get into it. The first one is the year of the rabbit. This year, 2023, I believe it's the year of the rabbit. Usually what Doc Martin does is at the start of the year, they put out a pair of Doc Martins that's like, goes with is it the lunar calendar or something like that but i understand it but then i don't it's like a chinese or asian thing and these docs they actually look nice i like the black and red uh soles i believe and then also it got the white not the white i'm sorry the red stitching they look very nice i feel like they they look unique probably the only thing that kind of gets me is the double tongue not the double tongue the pull tab on the 1461s they're a little bit weird, but then again, I do get it. If they were like zip up double tongue or double pull up tabs, yes, they'll be nice. But I do like that red accent sole. It does look nice. And uh, will I get it? Hey, if somebody gives it to me, yes. And I also do like, I don't know what's that thing called. Like the thing on top of the tongue. I don't know how to describe it, but I definitely like that aspect that it's red and you can take it off and on. For some reason, I'm starting to like that more. They do have it in the Sinclairs, but this one is nice. It's bright red. You can see from a mile away. Definitely ranking this as a um, an A. It's not superior, but definitely can see it in my collection. This one is the BT21s. And... Um, when it first came out, they're a little bit awkward, but the more that I started looking into them, I was thinking, man, these would be good if I can like draw on them. They do have like sketch marks on them or something like that. But the more and more that I do look into them, I'm like, maybe they're not for me. I do like that they do have the 20, what is it? The Chelsea boots. And then also they do have the 1461s and that comes with um, the 1460s. So with these, they look very nice. My biggest thing is, are the designs just there permanently? Like little sketches on there permanently? Or do I get an option to choose? I do like that there's different varieties. For like out of all of them, I'll definitely go with the Chelsea boots. They just look a little bit different. And then it reminds me of one of my um, docs that I do have. The, um, what is it called? The Adrian's. The way that from a distance it looks all black but the closer that you do get into it it looks like purple violet vibe and i actually do like that but with these i'm gonna give it maybe a c definitely i don't like the extra designs i wish it was like a coloring book or like for example if they made the um let me see like the crazy horse leather you know how that one they get uh what is it discress or things like that imagine if you can create your own design or whatever on the leather maybe that's a dumb idea but that's how i feel about these this one is a co wall a co wall is one of my favorite collaborators with doc martens but the thing that i've noticed with a co wall is that they have like this silhouette that they go with and every time that they do a collaboration it's like the same thing but different like this one is more suede like or velvet like material but it's pretty much what they've done in the past so i mean yes i like it but at the same time i don't know i'm not a big fan of the suede so i'm gonna give this a b definitely want to pick up a cold wall in the future one day hopefully 
But so far, I mean, they're just the B for me. Alpha Industries. These ones are like very unique and literally it's like the combs or like, I don't know. It gives me like a very durable type of Doc Martens. I mean, yes, I do like them. I do like that they come with more accessories, but at the same time, I don't know. I wonder how much it costs. I think the cost can either go up or down in the decision. I feel like these definitely comfortable. I don't have to break these in, which actually put them up. So I want to say originally I was going to say a C, but since it's comfortable and they look nice and uh, I do like the colorways that they do have, they have like the black and the yellow stitching. And then also they have the, I don't know what type of green that is. It's like a like dirty green or I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, those two, I actually like it. it comes with a bag and uh, I do think they're good. So I'll give it a B. The next one, I'm definitely going to pronounce this wrong. I believe it's pronounced Demin Tears. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but this is a collaboration with the culture, you know. <laughs> All right. This is a collaboration, you know, that gives that jamaican inspired the caribbean vibe to it which i do like but unfortunately like i'm not caribbean i do feel like individuals that do support that they would vibe more with it so i wonder how much when it comes to like sales and stuff how much would they sell from this like i do what doc Lula, i do like what doc martens are doing but at the same time i feel like this one is a very specific type of collaborations where yes is good for the caribbean or specifically jamaicans but with this one i feel like once i buy them i really can't put them on like that because it has the jamaican flag boom right there on it and yes i do like jamaicans it's just personally i don't see the purpose of me buying it so i'll say when it comes to design it looks good i actually like the black ones they do have it in red which is just throws me off a little bit but the black ones definitely good um they have it what 1460s and i think the adrians so these ones they definitely look good and um i would say it may be a c because it doesn't go for the mass if you understand what i mean these ones are like specific individuals that want them so i don't know how the sale is maybe i'm wrong but if it was more for the mass and things like that, probably a B or better. Maybe I'm just too nice. Next one is, I'm definitely going to butcher this. It's an Asian name. It's called Fuyuki Ka'ani. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But with this, there's like, it's a collection. He did one and there's one with Wednesday and there's another one. But love is wise so with all three of these i'm just gonna lump them into one and honestly they're about pride and things like that which i have no issues with but me personally i just feel like wearing them like take away all the just the design aspect of it it's not about pride or anything like that for me just seeing them i like the concept i like what they're doing but will i wear them no maybe support them that's iffy, but still it's just, I, I just feel like, let's say if I seen one of these compared to like a regular 1460s, I'm probably going to get the regular 1460s. So not to be harsh or anything like that. I do feel like these are a little bit more specific. So these probably, I will say C, maybe D, but um, I mean, Doc Martens do does a good job in like promoting pride and stuff like that or everyone is included if you understand what i mean so yeah i mean these um i'll say c i mean i like what the designers are doing especially the the how, how do how do i pronounce this fa fuyuki ka nea I believe that's how you pronounce it. So with his, it's like a 1460s, but it's like a comic book kind of thing. I do like the concept, but when it comes to buying it, putting it on, uh, probably not my style. So uh, 
Ajisayasi. So these ones are the Ghani. The Doc Martens collaborated with the Ghani, and literally, I'm thinking these are like the boss of the boss when it comes to like work shoes. These look very durable. I don't know if they're insulated, but these, if you're looking for like Docs that's gonna last you probably your whole lifetime, these are probably it. Like seriously, I think these are very sturdy. These are Jadens and yeah, I wonder how long these will last for. Like literally, I wish I can do a test on these. Like they look industrial. Like I might have to replace my 1460s with these, like the ones that rip. So uh, yeah, these are very good. I feel like they do have a purpose. I do like just how off they are. Like they give that bad boy bad girl look like hey if you see somebody wearing these don't mess with them because they might do some danger like imagine running somebody down with these <laughs> uh yeah but with these i actually like them like the more i talk about them the more benefit i see with them i'm definitely gonna give them a b like i don't know i do want to give them an a too actually we're promoting these a a a like very basic but i feel like they do hit a point. I feel like more people can wear these and they'll be very satisfied with them. They're mostly black with the yellow stitch in and they just look industrial. I feel like if a company buys like a pair of these and give it to their coworkers, they'll be happy. Maybe. What if it's not slip resistant? I don't know. But these look good. I like them. So A. So these are the Heaven by, what is it, Marc Jacobs? And these are... They look good. I like the suede or the velvet look to it. I actually don't know what type of docks these are. Like, it's just slipping my mind. Like, for some reason, I mean, I do feel like guys can wear them too, but it's mainly like a female dock. So, me personally, I don't know that much about them, but I do feel like they're good. I like them. I mean, I like the the little details, like the um, like the teddy bear or the thing on the side. I really like that. And, uh, I do feel like it's a good thing. So with these, um, definitely going to give it a C, maybe a B. No, a C. No, a B. Hmm. Uh, let me see. I'll say since mainly for females, a C. I mean, most of my grading is based on wearability. I'm sorry. Like, I want it to look good. If I'm going to buy them, I do want it to be wearable, like. I never understood the purpose of just buying something just to watch it, you know? So, yeah. These are another Marc Jacobs. And these ones literally are freaking Jadens. And they have a lot going on in the back. It's like they have, they made Jadens, the very shiny ones. And then they put like certain things that you can dangle on it. I wonder if you can add some more accessories on there. Because... They look good, but what if he can mix and match? For example, like the Crocs. Imagine if Doc Martens made like, I don't want to say a Doc Martin Crocs, but like something similar where you can add on to your Doc Martens, like some beads or something that gets more people going. You feel me? Would that be a good idea? But with these, I mean, honestly, I don't think they're for me. I'll just give it a C. I mean, it's okay. I mean... I feel like if I put these on, give me like a week or two, I'm probably going to lose everything. So let's see. The Smiley. This is a unique collaboration. I mean, I do like the Smileys that comes in the 1460s, 1461s, and also it looks like the Mules. Um, the Smiley on some of them, they look overdone, but the ones that I do like the most is like the Sandals or the Mule one. Very simple. It's like what, suede or like that velvet and then the smile right there i like them seriously i think i'll pick those ones up but the other two honestly not a fan i think they do have the some type of logo on the shoelace or something like that it's nice it's a good idea but that's one out of three so um honestly i'll give it a c i mean it's not for everyone like rocking a big smiley or yellow on your boots including the yellow stitching not for everybody but for me a c supreme man doc martens did it again another collaborations with supreme and honestly i don't think the collaborations with doc martens and supreme are really working like 
they look okay. Like, they're not like, ooh, I need these. Like, they're okay, and they look comfortable, but, yeah. And then they come in, like, silver, like, very shiny-looking silver, purple, and black. I'll definitely get the black ones, but the purple and the 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 silver, not for me. So, I mean, with these probably give it a B. I mean, just because I, I can see myself rocking the, the black ones. And then I do feel like these are a little bit better than the first Supreme ones that I did review like a while ago, because I think those are like Spider-Man theme or I don't know. Those were confusing. These are a little bit better, but they're not like, oh my gosh. So a B. So these ones are called the Tate, T-A-T-E, I believe. But, um, they look nice. My biggest thing is like with these, how long can I wear them without it? Like, I don't want to say the paint rubs off or like the design rubs off. Like my biggest issues with like docs like this that has like, seems like a printed something printed on it. I always wonder how long will they last? Like seriously, but I mean, they look good. I'll get the, what is it? White and black or something like that. The colorful one. Not really my vibe. I've been really slowly getting into this like dark mode thing where I do want to wear more black. You know, I do like rocking black, even though I'm not even rocking black right now. But you get what I mean. I'm more getting into rocking black. So with these, probably a C. They're OK. They're not like boom, boom, boom. The next one is undercover. These are like unique. Like, there's some that I do like, and then there's some that I don't like. So, it's the 1461s, and what they've done with it is that they have, like, I don't even know how to, they got lines on them. Let's just say that, yeah. They got lines on them. I actually like the black and white lines. Like, the black boots or the black 1461s with the white lines. I feel like I can definitely see myself rocking that one with particular outfits. And then, they got, is it burgundy or, like, reddish dark red with black lines mm, not my speed and then they got the blue ones with the black lines not my speed so uh these are okay they look unique i mean my thing is they're wearable if you understand what i mean like i can put them on and they're good but they don't like jump out the gym they don't like say i need you or buy me so a C. the next one is Waco Maria and these ones are like what is this leopard skin or leopard pattern I believe yeah some type of wildcat but uh <laughs> yeah so with these they look nice but at the same time I don't think I'll get them simply because yes way back in the day back in college I had some is it leopard print or leopard something and uh, having them their specialty shoes, like literally they look nice whenever you put them on, but you have to like literally buy outfits for them. So with these ones, I mean, I like the hairy ness of it, if you understand what I mean, like the texture is different. So I do like them, the 1460s, I mean, the 1461s, my bad, but they do look nice. I mean, but wearability, I'll give it a B, just... I like them, but I just feel like I can't rock them that much, you know? They do have another one, which is like white and black, kind of. So, yeah, it's just a little bit, you know? So, the Warner Brothers. So, with these ones, they're very unique. Like, they've made, what, four different types of boots? And it's, what, 1460s and the 14... Oh, it's my bad. It's the 1460s and the Jadens. With these ones, um, I kind of pick and choose which ones that I do like. So when it comes to the 1460s, there's one that actually look like the, what is it, undercover? Just in the 1460 form. So I'm like scratching my head. Like, hmm, who stole whose design? But anyways, when it comes to some of them, I do like them. I like the, I forgot what it's called. Like the brown one with the. The brown 1460s and the Jadens, I mean, I'm not a big fan of the Jadens. Like, they look okay, but they don't look like, ooh, buy me, you know? But the brown 1460s, I can definitely see myself buying that, putting it in my closet. So that's what, one out of four? I mean, uh, 
So with these ones, I'll just give it a C. I mean, they don't like bang, you know? They look good, but they don't bang. And also, one of the Jadens, they do have like a like a textured pattern. Like you can it seems like if you feel it, you can feel like I don't know how to describe it, but it's a textured pattern. All right, so that's all the collaborations that Doc Martens did for the 2023 calendar year. Which ones were your favorite? Did I misguide or rank any of them badly? And uh, I'm sorry if I sound a little off. I'm just getting better. Like, I've been under the weather mostly the whole month of December, and it's not good. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.